He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie The Wife, starring Glenn Close, Jonathan Price, and Christian Slater. Now, I am pretty sure most of you have not heard of this film, unless you're crazy like me and have known about it for a while, because this film actually was shot, I think, two years ago, and it did all the award circuits. It got picked up at Toronto Film Festival, I believe, but they held on to it for one entire year just so Glenn Close would have a better chance of getting an Oscar nomination for Best, for best Lead Actress, or so I've heard. Now, this film stars Glenn Close as a wife to a novelist who wins the Nobel Peace Prize for Literature, and they go to Stockholm to receive the award with their annoying son, and that's pretty much the movie. She realizes she's made a lot of mistakes in her life and poor decisions, and I just went into this movie thinking, I am going to see an amazing performance. I'm going to see Oscar-worthy scenes. There's going to be so much to this character. I'm going to love her so much. And I think I saw that. Let's just get it out of the way. The, the movie as a whole is shit. It is, it is so bad. Not, you know what? I shouldn't say it's so bad, but it is mediocre at best. It is so obvious and cliche, and I'm not going to say it wasn't interesting, but it wasn't interesting. And I just knew what was going to happen. The only reason you're going to want to see this movie is if you're a crazy person like me who wanted to see this on my birthday. That's how obsessed I was to see this. I had been waiting because I just want to see this Glenn Close movie that's been on the show for a year that she's going to get a Best Actor Actress nomination for because I love acting and I'm just going to keep rambling. But... As I was sitting down watching this, I was like, why did I want to see this so bad? I'm not going to rip on the movie too much, but some of the casting decisions, I'll just get into it. I won't name the actors by name, but I'm going to say their characters. The, the guy who plays her son, not that he's a bad actor, it's just he did not fit in this movie, or it just was so cliche and so obvious, just the choices he was making and directed, however he was directed, I hated his character. I also really hated the version of her husband as a younger man. Just didn't make sense. It seemed like it was two different people. I like that actor too. I know he's good. I've seen him and stuff, but there was just he was just doing some stuff that was just so annoying and distracting. I liked the younger version of her, who was actually her daughter. I was like, oh, she's great. And then I looked her up and it's Glenn Close's daughter. She was great. Glenn Close in this movie is the only reason to see this, like I said. She's amazing. She's one of the best actresses of our time, as you know, or you might not. She has been nominated six times to for an Oscar, and she's never won. She is the, let me get this right, the only woman who has been nominated the most, she's the woman who's been nominated the most amount of times to never win an Oscar. So this could be her seventh nomination, and if she won, that she would break that. So, yeah. Thelma Ritter's another one who was nominated for six, but she's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> what? So as I said, this movie is utterly forgettable. I don't remember it at all. I do remember her for performance, which I thought was... Uh, she, she definitely deserves an Oscar nomination. I'm just a little bit worried that nobody's going to see this movie and she's not going to get the nom. But hopefully she will, and I'm, and I'm banking on the fact she will, because she plays this role... It, it's great. She doesn't she doesn't overdo it, you know? She's very subtle, and she has lots of moments, and you're like, ooh, she's good. I mean, it's Glenn Close. She's amazing. So as you can guess, I'm going to say do not see this movie in the theaters. Wait for it to come out on rental, or if you get a screener, which I'm sure all of the Academy people will start getting screeners. So it's called The Wife. Definitely wait to rent it, or just watch her clips. I, you don't even have to watch the movie. Well, I didn't hate it that much. I don't know why it sounds so negative, but Glenn Close gonna get an Oscar nomination for this, fingers crossed. It's called The Wife, and skip it, please. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.